Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has stopped the fight, presenting the winner and still champion of the world, the Lone Warrior. I hear. And if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. This is The Lone Warrior streaming again, The Lone Warrior podcast. I probably think it's episode 5. If I would have continued streaming, I wouldn't have lost count. But, uh, you know, life happens, you get sick, and then you stop. And then you need to rest, and then you forget what to do. So, here we are. Got my trusty bottle of water here. Just to keep my voice fresh. And shout out to the live viewers viewing now. Yeah. Um, you might expect me to monologue about our Olympic gold medalist, Miss Hidalin. So, I'll get to that. And thanks to Jesse Luvelas. Welcome to the stream. But first, before we get to anything real life, and of course, in game, I need to recap you guys on what's happened. So I got a lot of Zeni now. I don't think you can see it, but oh wait, you can. So it's around eleven thousand. I'm gonna be sad because that eleven thousand Zeni is gonna be gone soon. You'll see what I mean in the future. And shout out to Ralph Nuchete. Here we go. I did the did, did all. All right, nice comment there. And. I beefed up the characters. Nina is at the highest level at 15. Uh, also, Urshin is at 15. Kray is at 13. Ryu is at 14. And sadly, I didn't get the 10 hit combo even off stream. So I still have that problem in my hands. For equipment, oh wait, for equipment, I don't think I improved too much for these guys. Yeah, not much new, but Ryu does the double attack now, so I prefer that because um, adding up the total damage for each attack when Ryu double attacks, um, it gives you a bigger damage overall. So I have this, uh, I can't even pronounce the sword. <laughs> but you can see here, I got a lot of moon swords, right? And you see the power there is increasing, but even though it has a higher power, this sword, the Scra... Scramasax, there we go. I can finally read the Scramasax. Deals more damage. I guess that's it. That's it for the recap. Mostly, I just killed some mobs off map, uh, at the question mark maps. I collected some healing herbs again. Oh, yeah. I also... I also managed to get out of the town of Kyria. If you're interested to know at which point of the game I am and if you just tuned in. So I'm now at the town of Senesta. I don't know if people know what I'm talking about, but here we go. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so before I get monologuing, let's go to the town here. At this point of the game, it brings you to this town. It's a desert town and it's one of those towns that were affected heavily by the war in-game. As you can see, look at that. The buildings are demolished. There's someone repairing up here and essentially, look, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> Let's put it kindly. So it doesn't look nice. And to progress, we need to talk to the nun at the center. I'm about to do right now. Let's progress the game plot here. Where's the nun? Here we go. We need to talk to this lady here. Where could I have gone off to? After that, we're gonna look around for... Yeah, there we go. Here's a kid that's running off. We need to talk to this guy. Wait. I'm talking to you. Alright. I guess it's that's not the next plot point. How about, let's talk to this man, which we will see in the future. Alright. I guess I don't know what to do. Let's talk to this one. Okay. Let's go to the inn then. Oh, my 
don't even remember what to do in Sinesta. But there's a lot of mini games in this town. First is chasing that kid, uh, that demi-human dog hybrid. Next one is hide and seek. So look forward to that. Let's see. Oh, let's talk to the nun here. Got them from the Windia Princess. It's Chino. Right. We talk to the nun at the end. Let's try talking to. Oh, there we go. We got the cutscene. We need to chase Chino here. The kid. Uh, right, right. Here's the mini game. Uh, all right. Let's see how fast he can go. Not that fast, but it's kind of annoying. He passes through me, so. What the heck? Oh, what? I'm not talking to you! God damn it. That guy ruined it all. Is he gonna run up? Oh, there we go. I see him. I see him. Alright, let's be careful here. Alright, let's cut him off. He's not gonna climb up here. He's gonna climb up there. At the nun. Let's give a bit of space. God damn it. There we go. Let's give him a bit of space so he climbs back up. There we go. There we go. We can finally cheat. God! No! See, this is why I hate this game. <laughs> I can't handle the mini games, but in order for the plot to progress, you have to chase a kid around this town. And I'm not too worried. He just runs around in the same path anyway, so it's just a matter of catching him. Right. Let's cut him up early then. Okay. Oh, Heading the wrong way. Oh, climb up. Ah, still wasn't able to catch it. Alright, let's try this, let's try this. Let's minimize his pace where he runs. He's gonna go down, I believe. Oh, come on! So close. Oh, who is this? Mr. Jello, shoutouts to you, sir. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the like. I'm chasing a kid around the town. I'm having troubles catching him. Alright. Come on. Go to the opposite direction. Ugh. How can I start monologuing if... Ah, there we go. <coughs> okay, so we finally talked to Chino. Here's our next hint for the story. Because... Let me drink. This is why the inn is so important, and this is where the party gets their lead on Nina's sister, Elina. So now, we have to help the sisters take care of the kids. <laughs> we got uh, Angela's comment here, the true idol. And we got Justin Guevara, sir. Yes, I am wearing a jacket. Uh, just a little trivia. This is a um, jacket from a long time ago. I seen his veins. <laughs> <coughs> Still not feeling well, sir. I'm streaming for streaming sake for today because I might forget what to do. So yeah, we need to help the nuns in the hint so we can get the lead for the party. Anyway, should I start monologuing? Because I can't, I can't really decide if I'm, if I'm to start this topic like, uh... Oh, excuse me. Oh, 
there's something there. Right. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to think of a way to start this topic because I feel like people are gonna take this the wrong way. Like they always do. People take things the wrong way. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, let me read the plot, I guess. Uh, it's better for me to monologue when there's no dialogue box in front of me. Where did Elena go? So Chino knows. But of course we have to play a game. You know kids. But, there's the but. I won't tell you. Hey everyone, hide and seek. Okay. Oh, something. <laughs> I saw the something came up. Yes, yes. I am still sick, sir. So, I'm not pushing it. And we got Aldrin here. Says it's his favorite game in the PS1. Uh, it's okay. You can play it again, sir. Maybe it's time to finish the game. So, I invite you to finish it. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hide and seek, hide and seek. I hate this game. No, not Breath of Fire for the hide and seek. Uh, let's see, let's see. How many dialogue boxes are there? I want to get those treasure boxes. And of course, the monologue. Alright, here's the direction. Breath of Fire has a lot of these mini games to progress the plot. So, maybe it's the game's uniqueness on how they handle plots here. Instead of going from point A to point B. I admit it's kind of engaging, but it's kind of tedious. Alright, um. There's a kid here. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. This guy is included in the hide and seek. He's not even hiding. Alright, under the eastern wall. Uh, oh wait, uh, let's see. I think it's this kid. That's for kids. Alright, I guess. I guess this is the kid that will give us tips on where the rest are if you ever find a kid so he's gonna say the next one is at the eastern wall so we're gonna go to the eastern wall then talk to him again then we're gonna get a new lead that's how this game is work. uh this game works let's see let's, see. let's go to the eastern wall. and for the topic topic for this podcast did you find who for this is all puzzles. Yes, sir. Easy. Uh, I hate this mission, Mr. Justin. I really hate this. Because you have to retreat the camera. All, all of that. Just for, you know. Just for all that trouble to find little kids. Okay, so, Eastern World. Now, I forget. If it's literally at the eastern wall, or just outside, like at this part of the town, uh, sometimes it's hard to see because if you notice Breath of Fire's camera system, it locks you at a certain direction once you rotate. Oh, here's Rad. Oh, here's Rad. That's him. So if you're looking for Nama, to go hide on the stairs. Uh, let's go back to the kid for the sake of for the sake of showing you uh, what I mean by the clues. That's the key. Yes, sir. We we need to rotate the camera. And Mr. Aldrin says, "Play Wild Arms too." I have I have games lined up after Breath of Fire, but yeah, that is noted. So let's see, let's talk to this kid. Oh. So we have to talk to the kids. What? Oh, hey. Thanks for the share, Mr. Justin. Why is it not showing alerts? I thought I fixed that. So here we go. Um, 
recently uh, Miss Hidalin Diaz uh, has snatched the gold for the weightlifting for 55 kilograms I'm still confused on how they weigh and this is this is confusing it's at the hit. Uh, she snatched the gold. I'm still confused on what the weight category is on that 55 kilograms. Maybe that's her weight, but when I saw how much, how, how heavy the barbell she lifted was, it was 127 kilograms. Either way, the point is she snatched gold. <laughs> uh, in. Isn't this the in? God damn. Thousand arms. Yeah, there we go. There's the RPG that I'm still looking for until this day. Thousand arms. Still haven't found it. And browsing through social media with Miss Hidalin winning feels like a social experiment. People have their own opinions. They don't want a discussion. And just post, 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 post. It's kind of hard to scroll on Facebook while I'm just here to look for memes. Maybe I found everyone. Let's check by the arm or the weapon shop. Yeah, looking for memes and all I see are people um, writing an essay contest on who can congratulate Miss Hidalin Diaz more. <laughs> it's kind of painful to see, honestly. Mm. I'm happy for her and it is a milestone for the country because it is our first gold. It was only a matter of time. So that's what's happened. And until now, people are still talking about well, not her winning the Olympic medal anymore, but rather. Oh, oh we got a new liker. Shout out to John Morales de Castro Jr. That's a mouthful. Thanks for the like, sir, and welcome to the stream. We got we got another thousand arms player here. I believe I don't know how many people know Thousand Arms. I don't know Thousand Arms before Ralph and Steve introduced it to me. So Chino is still. So, yeah, I don't know what am I to expect. So, uh, how many days has passed after Hidaling won her gold? <clears throat> browsing, to, browsing through Facebook. Let's see, I believe it's two days past. I think. Two days passed and people are still talking about her. Eh, talk about celebrating, right? Now, I'm not gonna take it away from the people who are proud of her. But some people don't get the point of some of her issues. Like, uh, can I talk to this guy? So, how, how am I going to find you? Oh, let's talk to the kids. Some people don't get the point I guess not to berate them uh, or maybe it's just me seeing that are you able to get there have you found everyone yet you are still not here I'm not trying to hide from you Did you find Rad so how am I going to How am I going to see Chino then? Oh wait, still have one. Go ahead. Oh! I think I skipped one. Skip one kid. <laughs> I think this is Rad. <laughs> Alright. I skipped one. That's why the cutscene didn't play. So... Maybe you'll talk now? 
Jogja Have you found everyone yet? Or are you trying to find someone new? Blah 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 Leave me some blood Or maybe I'm look I'm still uh, I'm still lacking one kid Fuck <laughs> No sir You have to love the kids So yeah Going back to the monologue All the all the statuses that I see, well, admittedly, most of the posts that I cannot tolerate to read are politically aligned. They make it about uh, administration versus uh, opposition, which defeats the point of having won a gold Olympic medal for the country. That's that. Thing is supposed to unite us, not divide. I, I don't know if you're, if uh, guys are too young to remember when Manny Pacquiao fights in the boxing ring, everyone's happy. It's like no one will be fighting, no one would raise their ego that they're the better persons because they supported this guy before they supported that guy. None of that. No ego involved. Just. Uh, appreciation and support. I didn't see that this time. And God forbid. God forbid. People are so vindictive. But like I said, I'm not gonna take away that emotion or that feeling from them. Especially when you hear the story of Hidalin not getting support from, from a government body that is supposed to give support to athletes that are representing the country internationally. That's another topic. I'm gonna get to that. Maybe later? Maybe maybe in the future episode. Uh, yes, yes. I know where Chino is, but I'm trying to check if uh, if I haven't missed the kid again because I missed one earlier. It's uh, Alright, let's talk to this guy, maybe it's time to maybe it's time to talk to him. Let's see. Uh, can I? No, still not here. I need a kid that will tell me where Chino is. Uh, that's what I remember. Because if that doesn't happen. It means I'm lacking something here. It's either a kid or some something. I wasn't trying to hide from you. Okay. I believe it's this lady here that will tell us where Chino would hide. Maybe I'm. Yeah, I'm. I really think I still have one kid to find. Somebody at the well. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. I'm doubtful, but you know, can never tell. Oh, okay. Well, that's it for that. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. So yeah, lots of indicative people at social media posting, Oh my god, I'm so great, I supported Hidalin. Now, Another thing is the hilarious posts from way back 2019 uh, exposing themselves as you know, <laughs> double-faced people, I guess. And people, I guess, they are learning now. They are digging up receipts. Uh, old posts from way back then showing how toxic social media can be. Writing hurtful things towards Hidalin and saying things that, like the government has given you millions, how dare you ask for more, and also uh, I hope you break your bones while lifting. It's kind of hard to see. At, again, it's funny, but it defeats the purpose of winning the Olympic gold medal and it has diminishing returns in the long run because after you shame the guy for showing how dumb or stupid he is, what then? Right? 
There's nothing more after that. So, what would be the point of shaming a guy because they thought of something back then differently? So, um, for now, aside from, you know, the laughs. Oh, damn it. I am feeling that I'm still missing a thing here. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about the war. I care about the kids. But I don't know where the kids are. Ah, uh, I hate this game. In any case, I'm going to be happy once the Hidalindi has talked is gone and I'm happy for her she got lots of support now and I'm wondering if the brands are gonna treat the other Olympians the same if they win a gold medal <clears throat> because the only guaranteed prize that Olympians get once they achieve the highest honor is 10 million pesos from the government which is to be processed by the Philippine Sports Commission. Can't even reveal Chino here. That's the only guaranteed reward in exchange for the medal. So, uh, the gist of it is the country is gonna reward you. They want to keep the medal for honors and they're gonna pay you or they're gonna compensate you for all the hard work you've done. My everything, Sayuri. I can't even say your surname, but my everything, thanks for the like. Welcome to the stream. So, yeah, that's the gist of it. That's guaranteed 10 million pesos. And. The rest is just people dogpiling on supporting Hidalindi. Yes, uh, Ramon Ang gave 30, uh, pledge 30M. All of them are pledges. I don't know when will they arrive. Maybe they will come as... Uh, they will offer it to Hidalin as... What do you call it? Um, pension plan? <laughs> They're gonna give it... Not lump sum, but uh, bit by bit. Yeah, 30M. Uh, the notable reward is the lifetime lifetime uh, air travel to Air Asia. Uh, that's uh, Air Asia and Philippine Airlines. That's nice. Now, all right, I'm not seeing any more kids here. I'm doing something. Uh, the plot is supposed to progress now. Right, let's talk to the kids again. Maybe the game is bugged. I don't know. We found everyone yet. In. We must stay not here. Uh, huh. You know what? Let's go to the world map. Let's see. Maybe, maybe there is someone out there. Already found. Already found a kid on the east gate. They won't leave town, from what I remember. But you can never know, and I don't think there's a highway here, because I went through the tunnels. Huh. I could have sworn. Oh wait, it's this it's this lady. Thanks a lot out of you. Is there no uh we, we need to use Nina. Nina, help us. 
Can I rotate? Of course not. Give me a difficult time, why don't ya? Now, is this guy gonna drink water already or what? Not yet, see? Uh, it's not yet at the point where it's gonna drink water. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I knew it. I was missing a kid. Uh, Alright, let's go back. Let's go back to the inn. Or the orphanage. I need to stop calling it the inn because it's not the inn. It's not the inn. Uh, I'm lost. There we go, there we go. Ah, that was a tough ride. Alright, let's talk to the kids. Let's see if they're gonna give us hints. Let's see, Modo, North. Uh, don't tell me I still have to find more. Oh my god. Apart from the bridge, uh, you found everyone yet? Yeah, it's, it seems I need to look for... Oh, God. Yeah. How many kids are there? Or let's go by here. Oh, I can't really rotate this while I'm in mid-air as Nina. But what I can do is... Go at it one by one. Okay, so I do want to stress more points about the social experiment that is Hidaling Diaz posting. I did find some memes, but there were only two that I was uh, able to share in my personal news feed because those were the only ones that I enjoyed, honestly. It's like it doesn't point to a political discussion, there's no alignment of uh, political parties, it's just a meme. And it's one where, yeah, the one was uh, a lapu-lapu skin, I believe, from Mobile Legends. And the caption was, Salamat Hidalin, dahil sa'yo, Pilipino na ulit ako. Which jabs at the idea of Filipinos disowning their nationality. And I enjoyed that. <laughs> then, the lapu-lapu skin from Mobile Legends was a nice touch. So, uh, there's one. And another is a picture of Hidalin Diaz while carrying the barbell. And written over the barbell was teammate, my teammate, or the duo. And <clears throat> on Hidalin, it's written as uh, me carrying my duo, something along those lines. Uh, see? You can make wholesome memes without pointing to a particular particular political party. Why can't people enjoy stuff like Beats Me? But, yeah. I'm not gonna take it away from them. What's this? What's this? Uh, I think I'm oh, wait. This, this is just an item shop. I thought it was a... The one where you trade for fishes. God. I'm still missing a kid, I believe. Alright, let's go back. And I'm gonna take a bathroom break.
come back. All right. Sige, 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 sige. Man, give me clues. Give me clues. I don't want to open Google and look for the answer. You see Modo. Try looking north from the top of the bridge. You see, uh, this is where I made my mistake. Because I found these kids one by one, but not in the order that they were supposed to be found. So now I'm confused on which kid which kid is which. I'm gonna have troubles time stamping this. So try looking north from the top of the bridge. I don't know where to get there. Oh, let's go to the north of the bridge then. So might be confused how to determine north in this game if there's no like a specific compass but still can you see the 360 there at the upper left uh, the colored one is the north so let's try looking from here All right but I I think I found a kid over here God damn it. maybe I should just start examining everything uh, I should look here on the stairs then because these are the spots that I cannot see and yes uh, another thing that I'm not gonna be expecting to be gone soon is the brands the brands I guess the brands the brands promoting their stuff with Hidalin's picture all together. I don't know about that. When will it um? When will it? When will it be over? Uh, just like this hide and seek game, I don't know when will this be over. I think I found everyone, but every time I say that I think I found everyone. Uh, I find another kid, so I'm gonna continue searching. Yes. Uh. Hmm. No one here. There's no one there, right? There's no one there. Because before I get to Chino, now I can't really forget Chino because another portion of the mini game here is getting past the guard. Now I remember that. I don't remember where the kids are. Though. It's kind of annoying. Gonna offer us some rest, right? No. Okay. See no more kids here. <clears throat> No kid, no kid. Hmm. Uh, and I can't even progress my point with Hidalin's victory. The next topic that I'm going to talk about is the criticisms on how 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 many people ignored her during her time of me to say but I have to find the kid first if I'm actually missing one because this is kind of annoying if I would have found them in order probably I'd have less trouble now but turns out, well, I didn't find them in order. Uh, I need somebody to admit to me where Chino's location is. So long as that is not happening, 
I, I'm pretty sure I need to look for one more kid. Found everyone yet? I don't know who I'm looking for. I can't even monologue properly now. Well, that's on me because I can't find the kid. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just examine every nook and cranny of this place. Ah. <laughs> uh, I already found the kid there. Hmm. Supposed to be there aren't any kids that will be located outside of the town. So... Wait a minute. I see. I already found a kid there. God damn it. Every nook and cranny left unturned. Because I can't find the kid. I already found a kid here. Let's try going to the gate again, I guess. But let me through. God damn it. So, see, I don't know where is this missing kid. I don't know who is the missing kid. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I see. I see. I see. It's the frog kid. Yes, I know. Uh, thanks for the tip. I'm still looking for one, or I don't know if I'm looking for one more, uh, honestly. As I found all, all the kids that I can find, but still the clue isn't being given to me. Alright, let's talk to the frog kid again, I guess. If he's going to say Chino is at the source. Yeah, see? It still says... Maybe I should go to the inn. I already found the kid there. You know what? Let's enter. Let's enter this. No. I don't think there's somebody in the way. You know what? It's time for Google. Google. Pet or Firefox. Hide and seek. Because they're so annoying. How many kids are there? Alright, let's uh, have a body check. How many kids do I have right now? So we got... Not including Chino. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7. I have 7. I have 7 with me here right now. And how many are there listed here? 1, 2, 4, 6. The heck? What? It's crazy, man. So apparently, I found them all. God. You dumb dumb. All right. Anyway, at least that's done. So I can monologue now to the next part. Okay. That's Chino. Let's uh, just drink the water here. Mm. There we go. We got the cue. The cellar. <clears throat> I wonder if I can return to that spot. I want to use that as a leveling ground for the party. But like I said, I don't know yet where I'm supposed to stop at this point. And I still have a lot of topics in my head anyway, so... Uh, I am going for a long stream. 
not the usual one hour. Oh yeah, so the criticism about Hidalin not getting support. But I don't know if people if people just miss the point of the articles back then. Oh, we got the like. We got HG joining us in the stream. Thanks for the like, sir. Welcome. Uh, uh, not doing my job. So there was a point back then where Hidalin went on a tour. It's like um, I even I even saw one of the pictures in my newsfeed that she visited my past office back then. It it was because she really needed. Uh, what the heck? Why is he not? Why is he not going to the water lady? Oh, there we go. Come on. Thanks. So, the point of it was to gather support for her. Just, you know, get at least funding for whatever supplements or how the workout is. I don't know. I'm not a weightlifter. But yeah, that was the point of those articles. And granted, each media outlet is going to want to catch eyeballs on their article posts, whatever. Oh my god. I guess it has high evasion, right? Sky casting magic. That was the point of those articles. And people bring it up like. Nobody supported Hidalin. Um, what you can say is um, the support right now is overwhelming. Like even outclassing the support for her back then. Because she essentially boosted her own value. With that gold medal, you know. She achieves something. Of course, she's gonna get rewards. And people feel like posting, Oh my god, nobody supported her back then. This is so sad. Oh, yeah, that's not the point. The point of it was, look for any supporters that would give her funds and to continue her training. And the funny thing is, you are never going to hear any of the donors who assisted her. Because that's the nature of the beast. People who usually give support, or what they call altruistic, don't do it for the sake of boosting their ego per se. They do it for, for the sake of helping others what well, right yeah that's being altruistic is now we can say that uh, each and everyone who helped uh, each and everyone who helped Hidalin is of good nature or has 100 percent pure intentions maybe they want to get something in the end because why not but you know there's still support show Um, that's a big roach. And the matter is, the matter of the fact is, Hidalin still managed to compete in the Olympics. So I don't think even without the support, she would have given up. It's a goal over to get that uh, first place, right? So, shaming others because... How am I going to get there? Shaming others because they didn't show support back then, but now are supporting Hidalin now seems kind of, you know, seems kind of silly, right? What would be the point of shaming others? Wait, 
let me fix this. What would be the point of shaming others if all you want is to get a feeling of boosting your ego because people showed um, negative toxicity towards Hidalin? Are you a better person? See? It, that talking point reduces the Olympic gold victory to something to something insig insignificant. All right, let's get to the plot point here. I'm gonna shut up for in time. See, there's Nina's sister. That imperialists. God, this is going to be our next guy of interest, Marlock. So now, every post on my... <laughs> it's kind of weird transitioning immediately back to the toxicity talking points. So now, we get to the point where each post in social media about Hidalin is not about her achieving the gold medal anymore. It's about why, why, why people haven't shown the proper support Hidalin deserves. Clearly, she is some somehow talented, all of that. But, okay. I'm just a talking person over, over this space. People can see the phone. People, you know, huh? I don't even know how that saying goes anyway. People are too blindsided by their emotions. To see what's truly important with this Olympic gold victory, which for me is very important. I'm very happy for Hidalin. And another is I kind of like it that she won despite, uh, what do you call this? I kind of, I am kind of happy she won the gold despite not having any support from the government because for the longest time, what's this, what's this? Yes, yes, <laughs> let's red tag me. <laughs> for the longest time, the government or I should say the Philippine Sports Commission, which is which was built because we needed support for athletes to compete internationally, they didn't do its job properly. Now they have an Olympic gold medalist under their care. They denied her. Um, now receipts going up that a high-ranking person in the Philippine Sports Commission saying smug things about Hidalin. Oh, just because you received silver in Rio, it gives you now the pride to ask for more. How dare you? The hubris. The hubris of the people who run the Philippine Sports Commission. It's being exposed. I'm not saying they're 100% bad, but and if you're somebody who visited the Philippine Sports Commission back then, you would have known how it was very how difficult it was to garner support. It's hard to get motivation in the first place. And now, with Hidalin showing that regardless of who supports her, she's gonna get what she deserves, like the gold medal. Well, I don't think she really needs the PSA anymore. I don't even believe we need the PSA anymore. Just a thought. Because this isn't the first time the PSC has been in hot waters not showing 100% support to the athletes. And let me just finish the point before I get to the next plot. Way back then, there was the Philippine Dragon boat team, the rowing team, which managed to win competitions out of their own pocket and was also supported by my previous office. This is because they they would request for 
a few pesos for their equipment and their travel fare. So that's why I know the Philippine Dragon Team's circumstance. They would ask for donations, which I I believe anything that would uh, constitute as Philippine athletes uh, competing and God forbid they are named the Philippine Dragon Boat Rowing Team, you would expect the Philippine Sports Commission to show support, right? But that is not the case. And they would <clears throat> go about seeking for donations from other people, other organizations, and such and such. This wasn't the first time. I believe they... Uh, I have no news on them for now, but yeah. They didn't even need the support of PSC also. Or maybe they got support from the PSC. Maybe I'm just a bit too harsh on the commission. Because every time I hear stories like this, athletes not getting support from the Philippine Sports Commission, I'm not surprised. If you go to the Rizal Stadium, which is where the Philippine Sports Commission is located, you could see how um, nonchalant and non-invested the, the commission is to athletes. And another story that I would want people to be reminded of is Wesley So. Wesley So is a natural-born Filipino. I don't know what his current rank in chess is right now, but he is one of the current highest ranking, I don't know what the rank is, Grandmaster, uh, Ultra Instinct Master, I don't know. Maybe somebody in the comments will help me what Wesley So's rank is. But yeah, Wesley So is one of the current active players considered to be the best in the field. Defeating Grandmasters from Russia, um, US, He's at the top now and he is representing the United States of America, not the Philippines because the mishandling of the commission itself. Different people handle it back then, you see, but the same problem keeps coming up. I don't know why. Maybe it's the commission not doing the job. Maybe it's just the culture. Maybe people or athletes are just seeking a greener pasture, but think of it this way. If the Philippine Sports Commission does not satisfy the athletes or the athletes are not satisfied with the support given from the Philippine Sports Commission, then what would be the purpose of the commission, right? If anything, why just get your own circle of people that will support you? Just like what Hidalin did. Just like what is Wesley Saw doing now. I believe the story about Wesley So representing the U.S. instead of the Philippines, uh, I believe that was the. Uh, it was a family decision, because Wesley So could have gotten one million pesos from what I remember, because he won an invitational. Now, the PSC. Headed by Prospero Pichai. I don't know how many people remember the name, but he did run for Senate and his stick was plant the Pichai because Pichai is a vegetable, right? Wee, hooray! I, I'm not even enthusiastic about the fun there, but there was a time where Pichai, Prospero Pichai, was the head of the PSC and Wesley saw. So and his family and I believe even the team because this was a big milestone also it was an invitational considered to be an international competition for the chess field or the chess uh, chess sports industry let's call it that because words right and um, trying to remember and Pichai or the PSC I'm just gonna say the PSC the PSC considered it void. Uh, no, it's not like that. The PSC considered um, Wesley Saw's victory to be not covered under their jurisdiction, saying it was void because it wasn't a proper tournament. 
Now, what they constitute as the proper tournament would be something like an open tournament where people from all around the globe can participate. Now, an invitational is more of a private uh, gathering, they say. And thus, they cannot consider it um, under their jurisdiction and are not obliged to give the money to Wesley. So, after that, uh, after that, people got salty from Wes, uh, Wesley Sell's camp. So, especially the kid. I can't blame him, even if it's not like the money issue per se. I heard invitationals. No meet invitationals. Yes, that would be coming soon. I hope we can get 1 million from the PSC for, uh, for that invitationals. But yeah. So, people from Wesley's Wesley Souls Camp got salty and after this event, they they started bit by bit leaving the country, uh, leaving any trace of uh, of any Filipino citizenry behind. No, no, no. I don't think they have that in them. But yeah, they wanted to look for greener pastures because if from what they saw, if the PSC, which is a government body or a commission, um, built by the government to support athletes is not willing to support a huge milestone victory for a young kid like Wesley So was a teenager back then and they, they all said fuck this shit we're going to America land of the free we're gonna make America uh, what's that song I was made to hit in America by Beck it was playing in the background as Wesley So was flying in the air and yeah they Given they moved to America, I believe in Minnesota, they're staying there right now. And now Wesley Soy is representing the U.S. camp. And Eugene Torres said something about Wesley Soy leaving the Philippines. And he was quite supportive in his, in his statement. It went about, this is non-verbatim, this is word for word, so take it as you will. Maybe you can verify it, maybe not. But Eugene Torres said, for the story of Wesley So, seeking for greener pastures, he's not gonna stop him because there are many better players. Um, there are many better players out there in the world. So, Eugene Torres uh, saying essentially, go pull Arayu, travel the world, go fight other chess players. But it doesn't necessarily say that he is supportive of. Wesley saw representing the U.S. He's quite sad about that, actually. But he understands. He had a statement like, uh, he said, he's quite sad that Wesley saw is now representing the U.S. for the chess tournaments. But if the U.S. if the USA can fully support Wesley saw competing in chess until to the point that he is considered to be one of the greatest in the sport, then He's happy for him. Hey, you know what? So, if people should be mad about Hidalin Diaz getting support now, maybe they should look on where their taxes go and what bodies are there to support, you know, support athletes. And I'm gonna take a bathroom break. And there is a moral to all of this. Maybe I should include my bathroom breaks in the cuts when the YouTube uploads. But no, that's included in the mod. Alright, the moral of the lesson. Now, if you're aspiring to achieve something, 
You might as well. What do you think for this? <laughs> we got a comment here. The jacket for you. Yes. Yes, sir. As you can see, I'm still recovering. But I'm getting there. Just, just a bit. Anyway, the moral of the lesson about what you can get from all the Hidalindia stock is just get some, just get a support network that you're confident that will have your back regardless on what happens in your pursuit. Mm, I'm trying to avoid words that would harm other people that might see this because that wouldn't be the point that I would want. But it's kind of hard to catch the attention of people if I'm going to be nice. So I'm gonna say it like this. If I'm to, I'm to uh, collect people, uh, we got Ralph distracting me from the point. He says, I need a hoodie to be much stronger. Shout out to Mr. Emperor Zodiac, the hoodie warrior. Anyway, uh, if people don't notice, Hidaling Diaz is not complaining about the lack of support from the people around her. Maybe it's the, just the governing body. Maybe she's very frustrated because the training center that was supposed to be built by Philippine representatives is not taken care of. Maybe just get your own circle, right? Look at her. She got gold. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that she got the rewards now. But what makes us think that those who those who wronged her in the past have uh, have a space in his uh, in, in her life now? Oh my God, I got I got my pronouns mixed up. And the same to you, the the audience, the viewer. If you're looking to pursue something, maybe you're looking to get a new job. Maybe you're getting to collect funds to retire early. Now, why would you go go around getting people willy-nilly and... <coughs> oh my God. I lost my point. So anyway, going back. For the audience, what you can get from Ms. Hidalin Diaz's uh, story is get your own support network that will, uh, that will be by your side. Got your back regardless of what your goals are that doesn't harm society, right? If you're somebody who's looking for a new job, you wouldn't want someone who would prevent you from looking for new opportunities. If you're someone who's looking to amass a huge amount of cash in your savings, you wouldn't want someone uh, leeching over those uh, funds that you are gathering, right? If you're someone who is going to the gym trying to build a habit, you wouldn't want someone to uh, you wouldn't someone to hold you down just to loiter around, maybe just eat some junk food all day, right? Uh, I don't know if I can say this, but I see it in the athletes that want to win. They don't let circumstances tell their results or define their results, right? As you can see, those who truly want it outshine the circumstances, the challenges. The biggest example I can give actually is Manny Pacquiao. Like it or not, he holds the political position now as a senator and he wants to run for presidency, my God. But at, as an athlete, what the heck? <laughs> we got a hashtag here. Uh, words of wisdom. As an athlete, Pacquiao had the drive to win like eight titles, it's like undisputed, kind of sell out when he fought, fought Mayweather because, hey, Mayweather's about the man. Uh, no harm there. Pacquiao, I don't think, minds taking a loss for that. And I believe I, we haven't seen the full capacity of that unstoppable force, which is Pacquiao. Back then, he wasn't the counterpuncher old man game that he is now. He was full adrenaline, comboing 10 hits on the opponent even when the, pits, the fists are up. He's gonna brute force those fists. That was Pacquiao back then. And Mayweather's immovable object with the counterpunch. We're never gonna see that. Pacquiao is past his prime. Yet, he is still very past. And going back, Pacquiao 
has so, so many accolades in his belt from boxing to real life. Talk about Machiavellian, there's your Maca Niccolo Machiavelli example, Manny Pacquiao. From a boxer who started out with zero, he's now in a suit. He knows how to speak English fluently now, probably more fluent than me because he spent lots of time in, uh, lots of times in America. And he's on to better things. I don't know if I'm happy if he's my president. Honestly. But yeah. That's what I see when I think of athletes that achieve great things. Whatever, whatever that comes in their way, there's no excuse for them to not perform. Uh, I don't want to say Kobe. It's too generic, but respect to the ones who went to heaven, right? Uh, Kobe, RIP. But there's another one for you. A lasting impression. <laughs> I got another comment that's distracting me. Will you reveal your mid 2021? What the heck? First boxing president. That, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know what would I feel about that. Maybe I'll talk about that in another episode. But yeah, athletes, great people, successful businessmen, don't let their circumstances define the results. Now, this is, this is going to be the one that's painful for most people, including me. Because, you know, sometimes we get emotional. We are people too. And we just say that, oh no, I can't do this because I need to do this first. Oh no, I can't do that because that would be immoral. I, oh no, I can't do that because I'm not even able to do this part. But yeah, the reasons that pile up is going to hinder you. From achieving <laughs> we got the tag here from Justin Koyawel. Alright. Oh, I got distracted. We got the reasons holding you back. And if you let them hold you back, well, when are you going to achieve your goals? When are you going to achieve something? Now, people when they found when they find this out. Now, this is going to hurt me because I kind of do this to an extent. People talk about doing, uh, I'm going to achieve great things. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do, I'm going to polish up my diet. I'm going to go to the gym. You know, declaring themselves as a new person, motivated because of the energy, right? But then, a few days pass, oh, well. They're, they're gonna go lazy mode again. Yeah, that's me, and that's kind of me, you know. I, I tend to get lazy, but I see it to other people too. They like talking about, let's get motivated, let's talk about pursuing our dreams, but not actually pursuing dreams, you know. It's kind of funny. And you see it, to, uh, you see it when it happens. People like to talk about achievements, but they don't have the skin in the game to give what is there to sacrifice to get that achievement? It kind of annoys me in a way. Because I've been there. I've been there where you, you, you are at the brink of success and the only thing that holding you back is your mind. Or your words. Or excuses. And all of that doesn't matter if you want to achieve something. Otherwise, what do you call this? I'm hurt something... <laughs> <laughs> Daik. And we got Ralph Noshetti with the wheels. <laughs> uh, something came up. Anyway, people are going to talk about achieving this, achieving that. But you don't see any action. But what's the point of getting motivated then, right? I've been there. I've been there at the spot. And... I keep reminding myself, this is why I go lazy mode afterwards. <laughs> you have to slug through it. You have to do the work day by day. Like, right now, I'm trying to build a regimen for a workout, especially with all the quarantine policies being inconsistent. The gym is closed right now, so I'm gonna miss my barbell workouts. I'm back to just running around the place. But I can't even run because it's raining. 
and and then I'm sick, so I can't even work out. So yeah, you see, the, the excuses pile up. But then again, once I got the jacket and actually I'm wearing jogging pants right now to heat up my body, I'm trying to get back to that workout regimen again. Hopefully tomorrow it doesn't rain so I can walk about the streets. Get, ba get back that lost energy because man, I'm at 73 kilos right now back uh, from 90 kilos. See, when you don't let your mind hold you back and just do the action because you know this action is going to lead to results, you're going to get what's yours. Alright, let's read the comments. The something came up le uh, let, left me laughing. I'm not, I'm going to not marry. <laughs> Ah, salmon thing. There we go. There's the good stuff. All right. Maybe that's enough monologuing for now. Uh, trying to think of new topics because I want to get to the next town before I end the episode. All right. Let's talk to this guy. Mm, no way. Forget it. Um, oh yeah. For those who are watching this ep podcast diligently. Uh, pay attention to this guy. You're gonna see him a lot. It's kind of a it's kind of a spoof battle in a way, but not really. Right, uh, let's see. I want to try a combo here. Let's see if this works. Burn. Right. Uh, there was no combo. It's kind of sad. I was hoping the Cyclone would combo together with that Rock Blast. Then this Rock Blast would combo with this Burn, which will reveal Eruption. But this is what I like about Breath of Fire. I was talking about how I hate the minigame. I really like the skill system. You combo skills, and there are corresponding levels for each, each skill. So... What do you call this? So you get different combinations for each skill that you do. So yeah, it's kind of one of those things that I really like. Didn't combo. Weird. God, I'm dealing so low of a damage here. Ew. Let's see, let's see. After he Dalin Diaz. Oh yeah. Yeah, I should I should talk about this. After all that shenanigans, uh, after all those shenanigans, rather. Not that because there were so many in my new speed. It kind of makes me question if I really want to represent the Philippines. If I'm to to participate in something great or internationally involved. Right. What do you call this? Loss. Yes, 36 damage. It's kind of weak. <laughs> He's guarding after all, but it's not like he is a pushover. So yeah, I don't know if I would want to represent the Philippines. Let's say there's an open tournament for Tekken. I'm very not keen on saying my nationality. You know? uh, I don't know if this is the kind of crowd that I want to support me in the long run. Not saying that I don't like Philippines, but rather this is a criticism given to Brazilians also when uh, they cheer for their athletes or even the esports field. It's Brazilians are so emotional to the point that when athletes from Brazil are winning, everything's high. It's like all praises. You're such a good man. You're a gift from God. Um, you're so talented. But once they lose, uh, it's all downs also. Uh, I hope your family dies. I hope you break your bones. Uh, I hope you step on poop. Something along those lines. And I see it kind of here in the crowd of the Philippines. And, and it makes me reflect on all the posts that I see. If, if this is the crowd that I want support from. 
And that those are more personal thoughts, but maybe someone out there is listening, and maybe you consider also if you would want, if you would want the nation of emotional people supporting you. Yes, sir. Normal attacks were more effective against Khan. All right. Ah, more mini games. But as you can see here, Nina is left with Marlock. They're going to do something. Uh, you know, they're gonna have fun. The game is gonna show sexual innuendos in a sense, but it's not really that uh, R18. So yeah. And we get the and we get to meet the second master here. Uh, Alright. So here's Nina. He's gonna massage Marlock here. Massage. Mm. What exactly is it that you want me to do? Mm. See Nina's face. Mm. And you see Marlock here. Yeah. Kinda implies that he is a simple man or demi human. He is a simple he is a simple demi human man. <laughs> Until your friends come back with the items that were stolen from you. Yeah, he has a French accent. I was thinking that maybe you could work, you could do it, no? This translation is whack. I was thinking that maybe you could some work around here. You know, help take care of the house and me. Ding! Yeah, kind of implies it, but it doesn't happen. Don't worry, the princess is safe. Alright, uh... Should find the thief. Oh wait, this is the second master. Alright, let's go some more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, take note of the zeni that you have here. This is game related. If you have a huge amount of zeni, prepare to say goodbye to that. <laughs> I have 11,000, that's a whole lot. Because the prerequisite for this master is to give all your money to him. What a bandit. Uh, I don't know if he's the man you're looking for. Heading out of town on the eastern highway. Alright. That's all we need. We got oh, we got comments here. Uh, yes, uh, I think Ralph was referring to the Brazilians here. He says he's able to watch some football, soccer, TikTok vids, and the crowds are very toxic. See, but it's not really just Brazilians in football. Argentinians are also guilty, but it's because they're again the emotional highs of people supporting the game. Uh, we got Koya Will. Koya Will is here. Support for 2022 presidency. Oh my God. So yeah. Oh, here's the highway. Maybe I can get us a fishing spot here. I'll try. So, now if I'm going to build a circle, maybe... Yeah, I'm really thinking about who would be around me or so. Here's the bandit. And the next master. Let's talk to him. Oh there, where are you folks headed to? Yeah. <laughs> Marlock? And off he goes. <laughs> and Gray realizes it. So oh, here we go again with Marlock and Nina. Let me see. For now, why is your why don't you rub my shoulders here, eh? Oh. Okay. I got uh, sweat, sweat, eggplant, and eyeballs. So yeah, do that. With the wink, wink on the side. Uh, you mean the game itself? <laughs> uh, that's why nobody watches soccer, I guess. It's the game itself that's toxic. Uh, yes. It's kind of hard to support, right? People who are overly emotional 
And add to that, people who don't have skin in the game, it's more, which is more annoying. People who like to backseat comment, or people who like to backseat comment and don't have any skin for the game, right? And I need to push the balance here. Ah, uh, mini games again, mini games. Why you do this to me, Breath of Breath of Fire? God damn. Don't want to read the instructions. I know, right? Here's the thing. Uh, I can block this, so we can immediately. Oh wait, it's open. Thanks for the random encounters. And it's not really that hard. And extra XP won't hurt. So yeah, which is more annoying? It, maybe that's what I... That, that's the thing that I would have put in the poll. Which is more annoying? Backseat players or backseat commentators? Armchair commentators or... Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I'll, I'll think of something to call them. Because... Uh, I'm kinda... I kind of have, uh, I have trouble naming them. What would be the perfect adjective for those kinds of people? Granted, this isn't targeted to any individual because each person is susceptible to this. Especially me, when it's NBA season. It's like, I like to believe most of my NBA thoughts are right. Like when I said Milwaukee will win it if Rocket Punch. <laughs> I got Urshin Rocket Punch. Uh, like I said, uh, the hubris of people being right, it doesn't exclude anyone. This involves me also. And from that, I would like to think most of my NBA opinions are right. When I said back then, I really wanted to support Brooklyn, Milwaukee would be the biggest hindrance to to their goal of uh, winning the NBA championship. What the fuck? Those are, those are some fast legs, sir. What the heck? And look at Milwaukee now. Like the NBA champions. I like to reward myself with the intelligence that I can see that I'm right. I need to cast magic for this guy. Or maybe he's gonna escape after this thing. But yeah. People don't like when you're a, you're a stuck up know-it-all, I guess. And when there's an NBA conversation, I tend to get all like that. Because I know I'm right. I know... Um, well, I don't want to say it like that. I know what I'm co where I'm coming from is logical, I would say. And you can go back to the previous episodes of this podcast to, to get proof of that. Yeah, run around. Run around, you fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Ah, that, that was so annoying and hilarious at the same time. <laughs> I knew I knew he was going to run around like a wild man, so I just walked. God damn it! I didn't expect him to cross over me like that. <laughs> yes, sir. He got away. Like yeah, that was uh, that was silly. All right. So going back, nobody likes to stock up know it all, and I guess if I'm going to the conversation, uh, just rubbing into people's faces that I'm right instead of having a proper discussion, maybe yeah, maybe I won't get the message that I want to spread across around, right? <laughs> Look at this. I have a feeling that 
he he will pass through me. All right. Uh, ah! God damn it! Oh yeah, I can do this too. You stupid man! Ah! God damn it! You're not getting away. What? It's time for me to escape. You can't get away. God damn. Kind of hate it that I don't have. They call this. I don't have. No encounters here. Look at this. A mouse is different from a rat. And. This rat is extremely shy, so let me run away, please. Don't get away. Fuck you. Fuck you! Devil Batu Ghost! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Devil Bat Ghost. This is really Kobayakawa Sena. He is able to change direction in 360 degrees. So, no matter. If he's running forward, he can change directions immediately. Look at that damage. It's so high. Good thing I have a lot of healing herbs. Ah, oh, God. Is the rat gonna die? There we go. He eliminated the rat, so I'm happy. That toothpick. What does toothpick do? Uh, let's see what does toothpick do. Ryo can't equip it. Heck. How about Hershey? No? Ray. What the heck? Who can use. The toothpick is. Identified as an accessory. I don't know who is able to use that, but apparently not these three. You can't use your devil bat ghost all the time. I will get you. I am. There we go. Oh, you can't see it, guys. So I'm essentially giving this guy the finger. <laughs> uh, okay. So this is Stoll. This is going to be our next master. All right. So I'm thinking of who would apprentice under Stoll. Can talk to him again. But at the cost of losing all our journey. Here's Nina and Marlock. Mm, enough with these shoulders. Oh, why don't you give me a foot massage? Hmm? <laughs> It gets more ridiculous as you stay longer away from Nina. Don't come too close to me, even if I were. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Donate all Zen. See? Uh, you need to learn how to feel. Blah 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 blah. Who wants to learn it? I want give, I want to give it to Ryu because or maybe Craig. He, maybe he could use the agility boost. Right, let's give it to Craig also. Eighty different. Whatever you do. Okay. Let's see. Do I have eighty kinds of items right now? No. I guess not. <laughs> Uh, and for his condition, for him to teach you a new skill, you're going to need to steal items, I guess. Right on. Uh, get to the point of I'm running really out of topics. 
but maybe something will come out of me soon. This is a podcast after all with the game in the backdrop. Let me try to get a fishing spot. I believe there should be one here. There should be one. <clears throat> and also an excuse to do random encounters. Or maybe not. I'm gonna do it the lazy way. I'm gonna do it upstream. Uh, I got no any left. Just to study under stall. Alright, let's set up camp. Return to town. Let's check out what happens with Nina. And hopefully I can get to the next plot point. Try talking to the guys here. I was to, I was prepared to do anything, pay any price if it meant getting Elena back. But I wasn't prepared for this. She says that one should never deal lightly with a business. Let's rest. Do a save. Let's see what else has come up in my newsfeed aside from all the Hidalin support and posts that disguise as support that would show how they are better than other people really it's not really a post of support for Hidalin let's return to Marlock then what? and you saw you come back just like that eh? Idiot, no matter how much I pay for it, what's mine is mine. What the heck? I have a right to get it back, yes? We got a new liker. Shout out to Marvin Trevales Otian. Thank you for the like, sir. Welcome to the stream. Never mind. He's gonna let us do other tasks here. Nina, I think, is still going to stay. But <laughs> Ershin says that we did fail at the first job assigned to us. She also says it is unrealistic of you to expect to be given something for nothing. Poor Nina. Because of you. Very good, Miss Tina. How about a back massage? So that's shoulders, foot, now back. And how many parts can you massage? What do now? Maybe after this mini game, yeah, after this mini game, I can probably end the stream. This would be north of here. Now, oh, there's a mosquito flying around. North of here. Maybe this time I can get a fishing spot. Maybe. Maybe. I'm still trying to check which question mark map would be would give me the fishing spot. And there we go. This is a direction. Where should we go? Northeastern corner of the desert. Alright. Let's try exiting there. But before that, I need to find the free item that's here in this map. That's inefficient. What I what I should have done was let attack and let Kray attack the same target as Urshin. Then you attack the other one by himself. Oh, excuse me. Where's the free item? Play thousand arms, please. Thousand arms or <laughs> uh, soon, sir. Soon. 
still trying to look for the game. Besides, Breath of Fire is still too fun for me. Wait for me to get tired of this game. Then, I'll play Thousand Arms. What else? What else? What else? Crocodile. Uh, I'm craving for some junk food right now. Maybe I should eat junk. Uh, let's attack the bandits first. I don't want... I can manage the mage group. Oh, there we go. Ray one-shotted the other bandit. Oh, so it works out. In the end. Got lots of moon swords. Northeastern corner. Right, give me that fishing spot. As you can see, we got a fishing spot here. Oh, hooray! But I'm not gonna go fishing now. Because the priority would be to move the plot point. Okay, so who do we talk to here? Here to help. Uh, job right here for you. Clean up the storeroom. Right, okay. Break the old barrels, then move the proper ones in their place. Let's use Urshin here. God damn it. There we go. Oh, right. In order for me to not get this random encounter, what I need to do is make Urshin run towards the barrel instead of manually pressing triangle to break it. Like, the fuck? The random encounters. I can't even move Urshin. Alright. What? Okay, I, I guess I'm forced to do this random encounter then. Alright. Not gonna say no to free experience, but it is kind of annoying. What the heck? It's still alive! The roach! It's so big. Okay. Mm. Right. Oh, this is an old barrel. We should break it. Now to put the vases and the barrels. In their place, we're gonna need to use cream. There we go. Give those roaches no turns. Three fifty. All right. Hmm. I need to be careful not to take all this. Not to get Urshin involved with these. Faces and what. This is kind of a doozy. The heck? Barrel storage area. So you mean to say I can break this thing? Or maybe I should put the base bases in other places, right? I think that's right. Well, that was dumb of me. I broke one base. I 
which uh, which is supposed to be brought in that area. Smart man. I hate this game, hate this game. <laughs> Every time there's a mini game, I kinda hate Breath of Fire 4. Anyway. Now how am I supposed to move? How am I supposed to move this one? Oh wait, I can break this. You can definitely transfer the other battle to the other side. Thanks for the miss. That's very helpful. have made the mistake here. Because I can't move this. Let's break it. Break it! Let's put this base in its proper place first then the barrel let's put it on the other side there we go now let's be careful here that i don't push it to a point where i can't move the barrel or the vase anymore. God damn it. So I can pass through here. Oh, stupid man. So you can't push that. Hmm. Made trouble for myself here. I can just push it all the way here then. Don't tell me I can't move this one. Yes, there's definitely room. Ah, there we go. Granted, some were broken because of my uh, negligence. But I don't mind. It's time for the crane, I believe. But for that, we're gonna go back to Nina. Look at that. Look at Nina massaging Marlock's mom. Oh, about how about you, Miss Nina? A little tired out. Hmm? So now, what will happen here? Oh, you are a wizard. I have to give you a massage then, won't I? Ping! There we go. There's the spark. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Here's the next job. Okay. Get all the crates to the sand flyer, it says. Let's do that. Use the crane to load the blah blah blah. Use the directionals to move the crane aim. Okay. 
hook is directly above a container, press circle, you're on target, no open catch, and then you can always continue. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, B square, nope. Right, let's go. You genius. Great. Oh wait, I see it now. I'm dumb. Can I repeat this? That was very dumb of me. Hey, that's right. Giving it all my extreme focus here. Let's see if I can still catch up to the 10 containers. So I wasted a good minute or so trying to get those boxes from the far side. Not where Kray was standing earlier. Oh, I'm. I misplaced one, but anyway, it's alright. Okay. So far... So far, not so good. <laughs> Still have six to go. Air five, I believe. And under a minute. Oh my god. I can't land it exactly at the proper point. Here's to trying. Thanks to this screen moving around so much, I can't even land it properly. Uh, I'm not gonna reach it, but it was a good effort for something like that to happen. <laughs> Waste a good minute looking for the crate, even if it's in front of you. We got. Likes from Mr. Legion Lintal. Shout out to you, sir. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, and that's it. I left two boxes unloaded. Stupid, stupid. Uh, I believe we can come back here to play that mini game, and there's going to be a significant purpose for that. Uh, all right, Ryu, great. Got Nina here. That fast. So we're off to our next destination. And maybe a, a bit more dialogue for the last 10 minutes. Hmm. The chopsticks. I don't know what we will use them for. But yeah, we got chopsticks. It's supposed to be equipment. Okay. Ah, Sunflyer, right? VIP room. <laughs> That's quote unquote VIP room for you. Blast it! That low down, good for nothing. <laughs> kind of laugh at Gray here. So mad. VIP room? Some VIP room this turned out to be stopping us into this food in crates like this. What does he think we are, Kata? Uh, 
No. Hello in there. I would remind you I am smuggling you into the enemy territory. Yes. That's my luck for you. We must all make sacrifices. Yes. Be a little more patient. Eh? At least this way, no one will find you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, why you be low down? Good for nothing. <laughs> All right. Yes, Marlock got his uh got his fun out of it here. Hmm. Oh, Fulu time. Let's save. At least with Folo, it's a pretty straightforward encounter. You just face the boss head on. Oh, it just happens to be Folo is overpowered. Hmm. We're on the run from someone, weren't you? Does this mean there's going to be another war? I did my time. I see my share of fights. Something tells me that there's a big one room. Ay, no. Magiging bunyan na nga ako. Ermitanyo sa gubat daw. Ay, None of us knew what we were fighting for. <sighs> hmm. Na, sige na, sige na. Punta na tayo sa required boss fight ni Folu. Ito rin, uh, this is the point of my God. I went off character. Well, Something tells me, something tells me that something will come up. Okay. Broke out of character. I spoke Tagalog with all my frustration. Well, it is two hours now, so might as well give myself a break. Eh? So what happens here with Folo is at the end of the of the map, you get a fixed encounter with the boss. He turns into a dragon and. With Folo turning into a dragon, it also gives Ryu another power-up as well. Here we go. Uh, how, by what means this now find us? We're still a god, one of the endless. That's how they found you. Hmm. Time has not blunted my lord's perceptions. Uh, Here is the boss fight. And here is the only thing that we're going to do. Meditate into astral form. Because Folo is so strong. He has 3,381 HP and essentially unkillable as long as you don't let Polo get killed, of course. And Eldritch Flame. Oh. <sighs> All right. Um, here's the new trick here. As you can see. Folo has this eraser thing which costs no AP. Once Folo has access to this, I believe Ryo will also have one of his own. And at first you can't skip it. Oh wait, I can. So I I'm going to skip it. But that damage. 1000 to 500. And 5 hits. Do it. It scales down. It's still a lot of damage. Ooh. 
<sighs> Can't wait to take a break and lie down on the bed for a good few hours while I render this and upload it to YouTube. Yeah, here's the only thing that you need to do as follow. And wait for the enemy to eventually die. Still not dead. This is one strong boss. Got to be kidding me. Let's try physical attacks this time. I can't injure the animation. You're still alive. It's two hits for you. There we go. Just needed an elbow. That Ambrosia. Ambrosia for resurrection. That kind of doesn't work with full look because he is a. Uh, doesn't have any party members with him. Mm. Right, right, right. Instant transform into a dragon. Then he's gonna fly. That's when Ryu also gets his power up. I was hoping I could have more energy to stream, but maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Or yeah, tomorrow. I'm gonna do more casual streams on Twitch. I downloaded some games. And I'm practicing X5 right now. I, I was watching speedruns while I was sick. What amazed me was the new routes that I found out with X5. So maybe I'll play some X5 and X6 over on Twitch. So I can finally move on from Mega Man X4. Thanks so much. Right. We are now at the uh, enemy territory as Marlock would say. This is the Imperial capital. Marlock again. How many trips does that make this one? Uh, And after this, whew, you can't leave the capital here for for a while. You're gonna be locked into two locations. So yeah, there's their VIP room. They were all cramped up in that one box. All four of them. Where's Urshin? Of course, it's gonna show it like that because there's no. This is a proper party. Let's try to exit the map here. Exit to the world map. I would love it if I could end while camping because why not? Is 
It's a teleportation gate, I think. But yeah, I have no access to that as of now. Uh. And uh, another teleportation something something there. Of course I have no means to I have no means to use it right now. But another like Carl Adrian Manzobuaya. Thanks for the like, sir. Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. But I am to wrap up now soon. I just need to exit to the world map. Or if I find a save point or something. Hey, treasure. Glass domino. I have so many glass dominoes right now. I I don't know what to do with them. Right. Save point looking like uh, trouble. Really no. Weakness to weak magic. Let's use the combo here. Let's try to combo. Don't know if Rock Blast is going to hit, but I would try this one. <clears throat> we go simul oh there there's a combo oh wait i think i did this wrong again yeah, i did it wrong eruption is gonna come out when i combine earth and fire the only good thing about this is i also oh that's a lot of damage, 2794. I also get the 9 hits, but still lacking one more in order for me to go back to roll, which is going to be a long time too, because I am at the capital. If I exit here, where will that leave me? Um. Okay. Uh, I will think that that's it. Hopefully, I can get into a save point now, please. Thank you very much. So, what now? It must be the gateway. Uh, yes, that would be the gateway. Uh, the lift. Oh, a boss fight, I guess. What the? Hmm. Is that an enemy? I guess that would be the boss fight. Oh no. I'm mistaken, this isn't the boss fight, this is the gateway opening. Because literally in order for the people to access the capital, we need, we need to open a portal to another dimension. That's far enough, I knew it, there was a boss fight here. We got the fellow from the town of Sarai here again. Don't know what his name, I don't care. We're gonna beat the uh, living... The living boss out of what he will summon. This is the Empire. Right, right, let's fight. Are you brave or stupid? Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Came alone for a reason. What's that reason? 
Oh, I don't need any help to deal with the likes of you. Wow. Very smug. He's gonna summon him, the same guy from the Salai town. Ah, it's different this time. But I believe this guy is also weak against in magic. So Nina will be a useful ah, combo attack. Alright then, let's combo Rock Blast then burn for an eruption. Attack 34. Big damage. I'm just gonna outright use Nina here. And after exposing this guy to a combo, I guess I can physically attack Ray. Or physically attack this boss with Kray. There we go, off balance. Physically attack. Of course, Nina will cast in magic. What that? 734. What? That fast? Okay. So I have to combo this guy over and over again. That doesn't sound appropriate, but <laughs> let's do the combo again. I can't afford uh, Kray doing magic, magic attacks over and over again, so I'm going to settle for this one. Okay, there we go. He's off balance. And he's back. And he's back on his balance immediately. Special burn. I don't mind. Uh, just as... Uh, I just need this... Uh, Nyemek half. Defeated. So I don't mind the, the Ryu Nina combo with Grey Fiscal Attack. Might take a bit longer, but yeah. I guess no monologues for the save point. I'm gonna immediately end the stream afterwards. Gonna save it for another day, I suppose. Everyone gets one. Cyclone. Alright, let's heal up. Use the healing herbs. Because we got lots of healing herbs. Too bad I can't combo the items. Nina's about to run out of APN. I need this boss defeated. What? Oh wait, it didn't combo. Why? That's weird. It's not even dead yet. Wonder why it didn't combo. How supposed to combo? There we go. Balance and he's dead. Defeated the enemy. Thank thankfully. We got blunt for prey. Still no new skill for you. Oh yeah, I did I do have this uh, astral form. Or something with Ryo. I didn't use it. Look, the gate is closing. 
They need to run fast. Move, go, go, go. Whee! A dragon, but that's not possible. But it is. It is possible. Ooh. Need to find the save point, guys. Yes, I need to rest. Now it's closed. Hmm. <coughs> right, let's get going. We got some near here. We have to find her, of course. What I intend to find is a save point. Uh, I really have to enter these buildings. I can go directly down here, right? First floor. Right, world map. It's time for me to set up camp. Some final words. Cosway. Stana. Right. Let's talk to everyone, then talk to the crowd. Oh, we're going back with now. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Save, save, save. So, final words for the stream. I guess, uh, that Hidalin Diaz topic took a lot out of me. Really. But it gave me a reference on selecting people who I'd want support from. It's crazy. It's crazy that in this time and age that we got uh, we got the GGs from Mr. Ralph. GGs to you, sir, also. Uh, we're in a place where we can get support from any other place, not necessarily having a governing body or what. So for the, for the audience listening to this, watching this, this is my message, I guess, that I will leave to you, that I will also practice. Uh, look for people who you would want to get support from because especially if people are emotional and they don't know how to support you uh, 100%, I guess. With the cost of having their ego being attacked or unsatisfied, they would destroy you also if you don't produce results. So select. It's kind of the same message as choose your inner circle or what. But yeah, I guess in this context, if you're a competitor like Idalin or Wesley So or even the Dragon Ball throwing team, you need to select who you get to your support from. It needs to come from a place of from it needs to come for from a place that benefits you also not also uh not necessarily them getting something out of you like fixing a match to win a bet or something like that so anyway i saved um this is going to be probably the first two hour episode of the podcast i wouldn't count on lasting <coughs> each episode of the podcast this long I just wanted to do a two hours because two hour episode because of Vidalin Diaz and people talking about winning the gold medal, but they don't see the hubris. We got the communist comments. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. 
I'm gonna end stream. And for the most part, I'm trying to bring viewers to other streams. But hey, it's up to you. So see you next time. I'm gonna send the streamers to the Lone Warrior stream. <laughs> Lol.